this question is a fairly routine function question. We're given f of x in a factorised form and we're asked to sketch the function. Now, because it's factorised, we know the roots. Now, the roots are either at x equals minus 4, x equals minus 2, or x equals plus 3 divided by 2, which is 1.5. So my roots are at minus 4, minus 2, and 1.5. It's also a cubic, so it'll have the nice S shape. However, we can also find the y-intercept. Now, this is where x equals 0. So if I work out minus 3 times 2 times 4, 2 times 4 is 8, times minus 3 is minus 24. So this is not a scale. The y-intercept is at minus 24. Now, the trick here is to sketch the curve and then mark on the y-intercept afterwards. So, here we go. A nice, smooth curve passing through all those points will look something like that. And again, this value was 2 times 4 times minus 3, which is minus 24. And that is f of x. Now, part 2 then asks us to state the roots of f of bracket x minus 2. Now the x minus 2 will translate the graph to the right by 2. So these were the original roots. So the new roots are these values plus 2. It's always the opposite to what's in the bracket. So the roots are at x equals 1.5 plus 2 is 3.5. Minus 2 plus 2 is 0, and minus 4 plus 2, which is minus 2. So these are the three values of the roots of f of x minus 2. Now then, in the next part, we're given that g of x is f of x plus 15. Find g of x. So, we must expand these brackets and then add on 15. So if we expand those first, we'll then times that by 2x minus 3. So we have a 2x minus a 3, and this gives us an x squared plus a 6x plus an 8. So far so good. Right then, I then times each term in this bracket by the two terms in the first bracket. So 2x times x squared is 2x cubed. 2x times 6x is 12x squared. 2x times 8 is 16x. I then get a minus 3x squared. I get a minus 18x and a minus 24. Now, one area here, of course, I must also add 15, so I must also add 15. I then need to simplify this. So I've got 2x cubed, 12x squared take 3x squared is 9x squared, I've got 16x take 18x is a minus 2x, and a minus 24 plus a 15 is minus 9. So there we go. I have therefore found g of x. Right then. We're then asked to show that x equals 1 is a root. So if I sub 1 into here, g of 1 will equal 2 1 cubed, plus 9 lots of 1 squared, take 2 times 1, take 9. Well, this just equals 2 plus 9, take 2, take 9, which does indeed equal 0. So x equals 1 is a root. 
So that means that x minus 1 is a factor. So to factorise this, I must divide g of x by x minus 1 to find the other factors. And to do this, we use polynomial division. Now then, I do this in a certain way, which I think works really well. I use the grid method in reverse. So my factor is x minus 1. I put an x and a minus 1 down the left. And I want to get a 2x cubed. So I put a 2x cubed in the top left. Now, I've got an x, so to get 2x cubed requires a 2x squared, because x times 2x squared is 2x cubed. But there's a minus 1 there, and minus 1 times 2x squared is minus 2x squared. But I want 9x squared, so I must add on another 11x squared. Those two terms combine to make 9x squared. I've got an x already, so that requires an 11x. There's a minus 1 there. Minus 1 times 11x is minus 11x. I need minus 2x. So I must add on another 9x, because minus 11x plus 9x is minus 2x. An x already, I need a 9. And minus 1 times 9 is minus 9, as required. So I've therefore found that the factors are x minus 1 and 2x squared plus 11x plus 9. And then to factorise fully, I then factorise that second bracket. Now then, to get a 2x squared requires a 2x and an x. To get a 9 could be 3 and 3. If I put 3 and 3 there, I don't get 11x, but it could be also be 9 and 1. And if I put a plus 9 here and a plus 1 here, I get 2x squared, I get 9x plus 2x is 11x, and 9 times 1 is 9. So therefore, this is g of x fully factorised.